the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mungu wa Isaac, Jacob, na Ibrahim. The God of the Bible until now. The Mungu wa Biblia hadi wasasa. The God of the prophets of old until now. Ma Mungu wa manabi wote hadi wasasa. The God who has sent the Lord Jesus Christ. Mungu ambaye amemtuma Bwana Yesu Kristo to die for us on the cross. Ili atufilie msalabani. That we may be called your children father. Ili kwamba tukapate kuitwa wana wako baba wetu. Father we want to thank you so much this day. Baba tunataka kukushukuru sana siku ya leo for bringing us into your house. Kwa kutuleta katika nyumba yako. And we want to thank you so much Lord. Na tunataka kukushukuru sana kabisa bwana for giving us a nation called Kenya. Kwa kutupa taifa liitwalo Kenya. The Lord we want to thank you so much. Na bwana tunataka kukushukuru sana that there are so many nations on earth right now. Ya kwamba kuna hayo taifa mingi katika ulimwengu sasa hivi. But Lord you have chosen the nation of Kenya. Lakini bwana ukalichagua taifa hili la Kenya. And you have raised a prophet from this nation. Na ukaiinua manabii katika hili taifa la Kenya to help the generation to return to you. Ili kwamba likamurishe kizazi kukugeukia wewe and to bring reconciliation my na, father na kuleta mapatano baba yangu baba as we come here to your house today baba tunapokuja leo katika nyumba yako siku hii we stand in awe of your name and your mighty presence baba tunasimama kwa jina lako na uwepo wako mkuu we honor the name and the blood of jesus tunaliheshimu sana jina Yesu we thank you so much for your mighty holy spirit tunakushukuru sana kwa ajili ya roho wako mtakatifu we thank you for your presence this morning at this altar ni tunakushukuru uwepo wako katika madhabahu hii siku ya leo lord we surrender to you baba tunajitiisha na kujisalimisha mbele yako because we know the whole world is in a quagmire they need help kwa sababu tunachua very much this morning just as we are standing ninataka kumshukuru bwana sana siku hii ya leo tukiwa tumbali tumesimama for this opportunity that he has given us that we should come kwa ajili ya fursa hii ambayo ametupa ili kwamba tukapate kuja i feel very privileged to be here nina husi hisi nimetunukiwa sana kuwa mahali hapa i want to thank the deputy archbishop and ninataka kumshukuru sana naibu askofu mkuu Isaac Gode who has allowed me to come this morning ambaye amenirudia makosa inaitwa maovu bwana yesu asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe it's called curse that is equity in another english word it's called curse inaitwa laana where is the lord bwana asifiwe something that happened ni kitu ambacho kitendeka in your generation katika kizazi chenu it is being passed down na ina inaelezwa na kitendwa even when you are trying to get out of it you find so difficult hata wakati ambapo unajaribu kutoka ndani yake unaipata ni gumu kabisa so sure you want to walk with jesus but you find it so difficult kwa hakika unataka kutembea na yesu lakini unaipata ikiwa gumu kabisa before you were born again you used to hear people saying 
uh, even your auntie or your uncle used to be like that. Na kabla ukoko ulikuwa na sikio tukisema unajua mjomba wako alikuwa namna hivyo. Oh they never built a house. So you cannot build a house. Hawakujenga nyumba kwa sababu si pia nao huwezi kujenga nyumba. Hawakupeleka watoto shule. Hawakupeleka watoto shule. Take your children to school. Wewe kwa hiyo people did not go. Wewe peleka watoto wenu shule. Watoto wako shule kwa sababu watu wengi hawakuenda. They never kept jobs. You cannot keep a job. Hawakuhifadhi kazi kwa hivyo wewe pia huwezi kufadhi. They used to be so angry like that. That kind of anger that you have ini ya mama yangu walikuwa na ilikuwa ya mama yangu walikuwa na asira ya baba yangu hii asira yetu hiyo asira yetu walikuwa na asira kama hiyo kama ya mama yangu hii ni ya mama yangu even when people are sitting down in church like this and people are just talking about church issues you always see it shooting up It's shooting up like that. Hata wakati ambapo something that has come up with you a long way. Hata wakati ambapo watu wameketi chini namna hii wanazungumza mambo ya kanisa, unaona inajitokeza wazi wazi ni jambo ambalo limekuja nawe kwa muda mrefu. Even when people are happy, you are not happy. You are just moody moody all the times. You are experiencing what is called mood swings and you are a Christian. Hata wakati ambapo watu wanafurahi, wewe hujafurahi. Unapitia kile ambacho una hisia tofauti kila mara kwa mara. Wewe unapitia hisia tofauti na ile hali wewe ni Mkristo. You say in your life that in our family tulikuanga na vijiroho. Unasema unasema katika maisha yetu kasumba katika familia zetu kulikuwa na vijiroho kasumba haleluya haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe all those things mambo hayo yote when the lord comes wakati bwana anakuja he breaks it all anaifunja yote that is why jesus ni pasa yesu went to the cross alienda msalabani he went to the cross alienda msalabani to pay a price for us kulipa gharama And that is what you see even in this very glorious ministry. Na hiyo ndio ambayo mmeona katika hata ndoma hii ya utukufu kabisa. When you born again. Ukiokoka. You are obedient to when, the Lord. When mtifu kwa Bwana. Umejitiisha. You received the Holy Spirit. Umepokea Roho Mtakatifu. You received the blessings of God. Unapokea baraka za Mungu. You just find Unapata you are now moving on. Sasa unaendelea. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Mimi ni Mkristo. Mimi nimeokoka. Nimeokoka. Nimeokoka miaka mingi sana. Nimeokoka miaka mingi sana. Lakini pesa inapotea tu. Lakini pesa inapotea tu. Inapotea. Ninachukua niko tu nayo hivi. Lakini ninapotea inapotea tu. Niko nayo tu hivi lakini inapotea tu. Siwezi kununua kiti. Siwezi kununua kiti. Na pesa niko nayo na kuna tu mshahara lakini pesa hakuna. Na pesa niko nayo kula tu mshahara lakini pesa hakuna. Ah ah. Hapana. Haitakikani hivyo. Haitakikani hivyo. That is why you are in church even today. Ni pesa uko kanisani hata leo. But the Lord may help you. Ya kwamba Bwana akusaidie. To know kujua that the Jesus of Nazareth. Ya kwamba Yesu wa Nazareth has power. Anazo nguvu. He has authority. Ana mamlaka. To set you free. Kukuweka huru. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so as I was going na hivyo basi nilipokuwa naendelea Adam fell Adam alianguka God does not love sin Mungu apendi dhambi He separated from Adam akajitenga kutoka kwa Adam Even you as you are here today hata wewe tisa ambao uko hapa leo hii I want to let you know that God does not love sin Nataka kukufanya ujue kwamba Mungu hapendi dhambi He loves a sinner anapenda mwenye dhambi If the sinner would repent kama mwenye dhambi atatubu But he doesn't love sin lakini hapendi dhambi When you are a sinner wakati ambapo unampenda dhambi you will find God has separated from you utapata kwamba Mungu amejitenga kutoka kwako Even when you are praying hata wakati ambapo unaomba you will pray a certain prayer utaomba kuambi fulani Prayer yako itakuwa inaenda Mungu Mungu uko wapi? Hadi Mungu uko wapi hata sikuoni? Hata ninakutafuta sikupati. Ya kutaenda Mungu uko wapi? Mungu uko wapi na kutafuta hata sikupati? When somebody is in sin, wakati mtu yuko katika dhambi, God separates himself. 
Mungu ukitenda kutoka kwake. Even if you are a top worshiper, hata kama ulikuwa mwabudua wa hali ya juu, worshiping until the Holy Spirit and God the Father comes down. Ukiabudu hadi Mungu Baba na Mungu Roho Mtakatifu anashuka chini. But when you begin to live in sin, lakini wakati ambapo unaanza kuishi kwa dhambi, sexual immorality, ushorati, lies, uongo, every kind of evil, kila aina ya uovu anajitoa kwa hizo vitu zako hivi. Mungu anajitoa kwa hizo vitu zako namna hii. Nasikia? Imefanya many keyboardists in the world where that that other side where I come from. Near where I come from. Inafanya wana vinanda wengi kutoka upande ule mwingine ambapo karibu na mahali ambapo natoka. Unaona tu walikuwa wanapiga vizuri tu. Unaona kwamba walikuwa wanapiga hivyo vinanda vizuri. Wanapiga wanapiga tu vizuri. Wanapiga vinanda vizuri. Sasa imefika hata wakipiga haisongi. Imefika hadi sasa wakipiga haisongi. 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 Hakuna mtu Mungu anatembelea. Hakuna Mungu hakuna mtu ambaye Mungu anatembelea. Sasa you just find he's just moving from one place to another anaangaika hata yeye mwenyewe anapata anatoka mahali moja hadi kwingine anahangaika tu hali ya kuangaika sio ya kwamba kuna kitu mbaya na mtu ni mbaya na wewe hali ya kuangaika si tu kwamba ni mbaya na mtu lakini mbaya na wewe kwa sababu when you are in sin kwa sababu wakati ambapo uko katika dhambi you can easily be moving from one place to another kwa urahisi unaweza kuwa ukiondoka na kwenda mahali moja na kwingine bwana yesu asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe wave your hand like this babarisha mkono wako namna hii when adam sin wakati adamu alitenda dhambi mungu baba mungu baba he withdrew himself alijitenga kajiondoa let me tell you na wacha niwaambie it is a good thing to have god ni jambo zuri kuwa na mungu because when you have god kwa sababu ukiwa na mungu you have everything una kila kitu hallelujah hallelujah you have everything when you have god una kila kitu ukiwa na mungu when you want it ukitaka you can just tell him unaweza kumwambia akikupatia ni mzuri hata kama hajakupatia na hata kama hajakupatia bado yeye ni Mungu bado yeye ni Mungu praise the lord bwana asifiwe hallelujah hallelujah so god kwa hivyo kwa hivyo Mungu akajitenga he left after he left adam alimwacha adamu he left the man he made alimwacha adamu mwa mwanadamu aliyeumba the man he made in his own image Mwana. after his own like Mwanadamu aliyemumba katika umbo lake mwenyewe na katika mfano wake mwenyewe. I want you to think about that pain. Nataka wewe ufikirie kuhusu uchungu huo. Mtoto wako mwenyewe. Mtoto wako mwenyewe. Umemzaa. Umemzaa. Na watu wakizaa mtoto. Na watu wakizaa mtoto. Hata hawa baba. Hata hawa baba wenye wamekaa wamenyomekiti kwa utumishi wa Mungu watumishi wa Mungu sasa zile wako na mtoto sasa zile wako na mtoto hata mama hawa hata akina mama hawa wanaangalia mtoto hivi wanaangalia mtoto hivi huyu mtoto ni mzuri wanasema anakaa kama kama mimi anakaa kama mimi sasa zile wanatembea hivi huyu mtoto wako anafanana na wewe wanasema mtoto wako anafanana na wewe bwana Yesu asifiwe bwana Yesu asifiwe unasikia mzuri unasikia mzuri haleluya haleluya alafu alafu mtoto wako mtoto wako is in trouble yuko katika shida he has sin ametenda dhambi he knows your stand anajua msimamo wako because the man knew the stand of yahweh kwa sababu mwanadamu alijua viwango vya mungu na god we serve eh hey, 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 hey. Ni mwongopa sana. He is called the God of Israel. That is your God. Ni mwongopa sana. Anaitwa Mungu wa Israeli. Huyo ndiye Mungu wako. Meaning you. Kumaanisha wewe hata kama watu wanachapwa, wanachapwa na the people of Israel. Because there is where your God belongs. 
inamaanisha hata kama watu wanachapwa unachapwa na watu zisizo kwa sababu hapo ndipo Mungu wako anatoka whether they are embarrassed you are embarrassed with them kama wanakuaibisha umeibishwa nao pia you brothers are on their side kila wakati uko upande wao god is your god kila wakati uko upande wao kwa sababu Mungu wao ni Mungu wako now is the god the father sasa kama Mungu baba ameweka he has put a law ameweka sheria his child has not followed the law mtoto wake atafuta sheria and then ana pull out kisha anachondoa mtoto sasa anaenda street mtoto sasa anaenda mtaani kama ni wewe kama ni wewe utasikia aje utahisi kivipi niambie mtu mmoja aniambie niambie unasikia vizuri ama mbaya ama aje haleluya haleluya unasikia vizuri ama mbaya ama aje mbaya sana mtoto ako nje analala nje anakula nje ujui amekula nini amelala wapi ako kwa mkono ya nani haleluya haleluya god separated mungu akajitenga because there's one thing about god that he cannot compromise kwa sababu kuna kitu moja kuhusu mungu awe ambacho hawezi kukubaliana nalo his nature asili yake ni utakatifu he is a holy god yeye ni mungu mtakatifu he requires you to strive to be holy anakuhitaji wewe kungangana kuwa mtakatifu that in all your endeavors as a young person lakini katika shughuli zako zote kama mtu mchanga you should be pushing forward to get to a state of holiness unahitaji kusukuma mbele kufika hadi kiwango cha utakatifu kitabu cha mwanzo wa mlango wa 39 when joseph wakati yosefu was away alikuwa ameondoka alikuwa mbali from his own home his own family kutoka kindred his own god kutoka kwa mungu wake mwenyewe kwa familia yake mwenyewe kwa mandugu zake you can read verse 7 going down mwanzo wa mlango wa 39 mstari wa 7 baada ya kitambo mke wa Potifa akamtamani Yosefu akamwambia njo ukutane nami kimwili lakini Yosefu akakataa akamwambia yule mwanamke mimi nikiwa katika uongozi bwana wangu kuhusiki na kitu chochote katika nyumba hii kila kitu alicho nacho amenikabidhi hapa nyumbani hakuna aliye mkuu kuliko mimi bwana wangu hakunizuia kitu chochote isipokuwa wewe kwa kuwa wewe ni mke wake nitawezaje basi kufanya uovu huu na kutenda dhambi dhidi ya Mungu ingawa yule mwanamke aliendelea kumshawishi na kutenda dhambi dhidi ya soma hapo soma hapo verse 9 mstari wa tisa hapo nyumbani hakuna aliye mkuu kuliko mimi bwana wangu hakunizuia kitu chochote isipokuwa wewe kwa kuwa wewe ni mke wake nitawezaje basi kufanya uovu huu na kutenda dhambi dhidi ya Mungu haleluya haleluya praise the lord bwana asifiwe praise the lord jesus bwana yesu asifiwe in your work with jesus katika mtendo wako na yesu if you want to move forward kama unataka kushanga 
Lele. Little by little. Pole 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 pole. It has to be intentional. Lazima iwe kiba kushudi. You must make a deliberate move. Lazima ufanye msungu, ufanye msongo wa kiba kushudi. To walk in holiness. Kutendea kutakatifu. Because the enemy. Kwa sababu adui. The devil. Shetani. Is roaming around. Anazurura hapa na pale. He's looking who for who to devour. Anatafuta nani wa kumrarua. But the Bible says. Lakini Biblia inasema. You should resist him. Lazima umkatae. Stand fast link kwa kuendelea. You see Joseph. Unaona Joseph pale. He has a temptation. Anayo taribio. Many Christians are tempted. Wa Kristo wengi wanajaribiwa. Now every test that comes anaanguka. Na kila jaribu. Every test that comes anaanguka. Kila jaribu linalokuja anaanguka. Kila jaribu analokuja anaanguka. She or he expects. Kisha yeye wa kiume au wa kike anatarajia. That on Sunday ya kwamba Jumapili anakuja hapo kwa DAB anasema DAB nataka kutoa tomba yangu. Anakuja kwa nembo asikofu kwa tomba yangu. Anasema nataka kutoa tomba yangu. Anafikiri tomba ni fashion. Anafikiri kwamba tomba ni mtindo fulani. Hapana. Hapana. Tomba si Tomba sio mtindo tu. Tomba is a very serious thing. Tomba ni jambo la kumaanisha. That if you have to repent. Ya kwamba tomba unastahili kutubu. Hata wewe unaenda kukilia, unasema ai hiyo ni aibu yote. Ai tabi imenipatia aibu ya aina gani? Hadi zile zirudi kwa Rabbi tena. Na sasa tena umelia, tena unarudi tena. Hata leo tena nimeanguka. Nataka kutubu tena. Apana, apana. Wana Yesu asifiwe. Wana Yesu asifiwe. You cannot be that kind of Christian. Hauwezi kuwa aina hiyo ya Mkristo. You cannot. Hauwezi. At this hour. Katika saa hii. Ah ah. Apana. Lazima you have to fight. Lazima upigane vita. Lazima upigane vita. Ukiweka hapo tu mtu anakusalamia mpaka ana, anasugua mnyinyo yako mkono yako hivi na unasema sasa mbona unasugua mkono yako yangu hivyo si nilisikia umeokoka kweli 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 eh umeleta ujanuya na ujanuo hapa haleluya haleluya bwana Yesu asifiwe bwana Yesu asifiwe eh you want to walk with you Unataka kutembea na yawe. The God of Israel. Mungu wa Israeli. Holy. Mtakatifu. Holy. Mtakatifu. Holy. Mtakatifu. He is holy. Yeye mtakatifu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Eh Joseph aliangalia akasema hapana. Joseph aliangalia akasema hapana. Huyu sio Mungu ya kubebwa kutoka risa. Huyu sio Mungu wa kubebwa kutoka risa mashambani. Babu there are people who are carrying miungu kidogo kidogo wanakuja nayo. Kwa sababu kuna dhabu Wakutsabu kuna watu ambao wameumwa na kunyanya kwa risa wameambiwa weka hapo kando ya mlango waliwanyambia kutoka mashambani wamesema wamwambia weka hapo kando ya mlango si mtoto mwili wake inakuwa moto kidogo hebu enda kuza hapo kidogo na wameokoka tu ukisikia mtoto mwili mwili wa mtoto wako unakuwa moto enda kuza hapo kidogo na wameokoka tu haleluya haleluya ama ile kitu kingine yenye unafanya ya kinyumbani ama ile kitu kingine ya uokoni na sio wewe unaijua kwa sababu Kenya is a democratic. Wewe mwenyewe unaitoka kwa sababu Kenya ni nchi huru. Tumetoka all the different communities. Tumetoka katika jamii tofauti tofauti. Ukitoka Mombasa pengine unapewa tu hata irisi. Wewe unajua hiyo hiyo unaweka na fashion. Ukitoka Mombasa unapewa ya fashion. Kuna ile ya mtindo fulani. Haleluya. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Joseph, Joseph. When he had known the nature of God. Alipokuwa sajua asili ya Mungu. The God of Abraham. Mungu wa Abraham. Isaac. Isaac. And Jacob. Na Yakobo. He was treading carefully. Alikuwa anaenda kwa makinifu. Carefully. Kwa makinifu. Hakuna saa ya kuweka kesi ya timara wewe. Oh. Sijui huyu mama ni pasta na anapiganga dimu sijui kwa nani. Hakuna. Hiyo hakuna. Eh Hiyo hakuna. Hiyo hakuna. Mbona wewe ni wasia na umesimamishwa? Sasa sasa hii unasema nini? Unaangalia wapi? Na ni aibu kiasi gani? Na huko ndio ulitoka. Sasa utaenda wapi? Na utasema nini? Utaambia nani? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. 
Praise the Lord. Nasifiwe. Wacha kufunga macho. Pungua tu macho. Pungua tu macho kwa sababu hii mambo lazima tuyatatue vizuri kwa sababu tumepata tumeingia kwa the lap where we need God more than ever. Tumeingia katika kwa katika awamu ambapo tunahitaji Mungu zaidi ya yote. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need God now more than ever. Unahitaji Mungu sasa zaidi ya yote. Because there is consolers are here. Kwa sababu wapatanishi wako hapa. Bringing reconciliation. Wapilata mapatanisho. Joseph looked at his situation. Joseph alangalia hali yake. Between him and God. Kati yake na Mungu. He did not want that separation. Hakutaka utengano huo. Kwa sababu Mungu akikuacha hata watu wenye uliwacha nje the people you left outside they look at you and say eh hey, is that really you hata watu ambao kwa nje ambao uliwacha atakwambia kusema eh hey, wewe huyu ni wewe kweli if, if you try to go to them they Uki, just say eh hey, hey, uko wewe uko na shetani ukijaribu kuendea na sema eh hey, wewe uko na shetani even people of your village they just say ah ah hii yako ah ah hata watu wakijijichaka hata huko kwenye shetani inatolewa imekushinda ah ah Watasema yeye kwetu usikuje. Watasema kwetu usikuje. The whole world will vomit you out. Ulimwangu wote utakutapika nje. Because of your nature of carelessness. Kwa sababu ya asili yako ya kutomakinika. For you to be carelessly in sin. Kwa kuwa kwa kuwa kuwa katika bila makinifu kwa dhambi ni shida yako mwenyewe. And it is land you in the bad place called na itakupeleka mahali babaya panapoitwa kuzimu. And in hell, na kuzimu. There is no repentance. Hakuna toba. Si tumeambiwa. Wapendwa, tumeambiwa. Tumeambiwa in hell hakuna repentance. Tumeambiwa kwamba kuzimu hakuna toba. The only thing you can do is to fight for your salvation now. Jambo la pekee ambalo unaweza fanya ni kupigania wokovu wako sasa hivi. To fight to walk in holiness now. Kupigana vita kutembea kwa utakatifu sasa hivi. When you walk in holiness. Ukitembea kwa utakatifu. Even if you are somebody who was very bad. Hata kama ulikuwa mtu ambaye ni mbaya sana. People will look at you and say, "Ah, dada." Sasa watu wanakuita tu dada, ndugu. Watu tutakuangalia na sasa tutakuita dada ndugu because they can see kwa sababu wanaweza kuona that God has done a great work in your life. Ya kwamba Mungu ametenda kazi kubwa kabisa katika maisha yako. That so when mankind fell. Na hivyo basi wakati mwanadamu alianguka God separated. Mungu alijitenga later on kisha baadaye God chose Abraham Mungu akamchagua Abraham so that he can make a new man ili kwamba aumbe mwanadamu mpya he can take and make he can God can take and make Mungu anaweza chukua na kuumba haleluya haleluya even if you are a chokora hata kama wewe ni chokora bad person mtu mbaya or a drunkard au mlevi or a prostitute ama kahaba or in idolatry au katika kuburi sana na witch ama mchawi or somebody who just does not not no god ama mtu ambaye hamjui mungu hata kidogo it is not hard for god to just pick you sio ngumu kwa mungu akuchukue tu he can just pick you out anaweza kuchukua the way you are jinsi ulivyo that he when he is coming with you in that state na anapokuja naye katika hali hiyo he is happy anafurahi because he is about to display to people what he can do kwa sababu yu karibu kuonyesha watu kile ambacho anaweza fanya he will wash you atakuosha he will forgive you atakusamehe he will clothe you atakufisha he will make you new atakufanya upya even the people who see you hata watu ambao watakuona wanasema eh wanasema eh Mungu ni kubwa sana. Mungu ni mkubwa kabisa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He can take anybody. Anaweza kumchukua mtu yeyote. He took Abraham. Alichukua Abraham from the house of Terah. Kutoka kwa nyumba ya Terah. At the house of Terah. Na nyumba ya Terah. From the house of idolatry. Ilikuwa nyumba kwa abudu sanamu. Where people worship sanamu. Ambapo watu waliabudu sanamu. Na kuunda sanamu. Na kuunda sanamu. They used to make walikuwa wanatengeneza terafin small small god miungu midogo midogo some for family use baadhi yao ya kutumika kwa familia and some for selling na nyingine ya kushali ya kuuza that was the house of of tera ile ilikuwa nyumba ya tera the father of abraham baba ya abrahamu but god did not care lakini mungu hakujali kuja tu ukae hapa 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God did not care. Mungu hakutali. In that state. Katika hali hiyo. He still went there. Alienda pale. He took Abraham. Akamchukua Abraham. And he said, "Come." Na akasema, "Njoo." And I will make you. Na nitakufanya wewe. There is something about God making you. Kuna kitu kuhusu Mungu kukutengeneza. What you are not. Kila macho wewe huko. When you become a Christ God begins to make you. Mungu anaanza kukutengeneza, kukuumba. And so you have to walk in the fear of God. Na hivyo basi unastahili kutembea katika hofu ya Mungu. Walk in the fear of God. Tembea katika hofu ya Mungu. As you have in the studies that we've had in the past. Jinsi ambavyo umesikia katika mafunzo ambayo tumesikia hapo awali. That the eternal gospel. Ya kwamba injili ya umilele. According to the book of uh, Revelation 14 verse 6. Kuambatana na kitabu cha Mfunuo wa mlango wa 14 mstari wa 6. That is the gospel of the fear of the Lord. Ya kwamba hii ni injili ya hofu ya Bwana. We can look at Tunaweza itazama. But I'm still maintaining the same position. Nikiwa nangana nashikilia nafasi ile ile. All the same verses. Au maandiko yale yale. Kitabu cha Mfunuo wa Yohana mlango wa 14 mstari wa sita Kisha nikamuona malaika mwingine akiruka juu angani. Naye alikuwa na injili ya milele ya kuwatangazia wale waishio duniani. Yaani kwa kila taifa, kabila, lugha na jamaa akasema kwa sauti kubwa mcheni Mungu na kumpa utukufu kwa maana saa ya hukumu yake imewadia mwabuduni yeye aliyeziumba bingu dunia bahari na chemichemi za maji Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The eternal gospel. Injili ya milele. The gospel of the fear of the Lord. Injili ya kumta Mungu. The gospel we, we, which when Joseph was walking with it. Injili ambayo kwayo Yosefu alikuwa anatembea nayo. He remembered he said apana. Alikumbuka akasema apana. I know you are my boss. Na wewe ni mkubwa wangu. You are the wife of my boss. Wewe ni mtu mkubwa wangu. You can even suck me. Unaweza hata nifuta. But then lakini basi I have a God. Ninaye Mungu. Kwa kumhofu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. You always must prioritize. Kila You must prioritize. You must put God first. Kila wakati lazima uweke Mungu katika kipaumbele. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't put yourself first. Usijiweke mbele kwanza. If you are always putting yourself first. Kama kila wakati unajiweka mbele kwanza, then you will sin. Basi utatenda dhambi. The only way you can prioritize God. Njia ya kipekee ambapo unaweka Mungu kwa kipaumbele is because of the fear of God. Ni kwa sababu ya hofu ya Mungu. Do you fear God? Je, unamhofu Mungu, unamcha Mungu? Fear the pastor more than God. Ama unamuogopa mwanadamu zaidi ya Mungu? Because there are people kwa sababu kuna watu wakiona pastor, wakiona mchungaji. Sasa hiyo anatembea Sasa anatembea. Na tena hii mwendo yetu ya watu wa toba. Na hii mwendo yetu ya watu wa toba. Ukishavaa hii yetu hii, ukivaa yetu hii, nzuri hii, nzuri hii. Yaani Mungu ni mkuu sana. Yaani Mungu ni mkuu sana. Kupatia nguo nzuri, kutupatia nguo nzuri. Hai. Ona tu. Ni mzuri. Hata tikienda town na enda tu pole pole hivi. Na watu wanaangalia tu wanasema, "Ai, na umetoka wapi? Na unaenda wapi? Na Mungu amekusaidia aje. Bwana Yesu asifiwe." Lakini inahitajika hofu ya Mungu Baba. Lakini inahitajika hofu ya Mungu Baba. In your good cloth katika vazi lako nzuri. Katika suti yako. In your home katika pamba yako. At the place of work. Mahali pako pa kazi. There is need for the fear of the Lord God Yahweh. Kuna hitaji ya hofu ya Bwana Mungu Yahweh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na uzuri. Na uzuri. Kwa hii glorious ministry. Katika huduma hiyo tukufu. Hakuna issue ya kwamba oh the boys will still do what? Ah ah, hii hakuna. Hakuna girls. Hakuna issue ya kwamba ukijana mvulana atafanya hivi au msichana atafanya hivi. Kila kitu imepangwa vizuri sana. Kila kitu imepangwa vizuri sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hata kama wewe ni kijana. Hata kama wewe ni kijana. Na unataka kuoa. Na unataka kuoa. Unaenda tu 
hapo kwa pasta unaenda tu hapo kwa ama kwa DAP ama kwa naibu askofu mkuu sasa DAP ndio unasema naibu askofu mkuu unaona haiti yangu unaona urefu wangu na vile nimekuwa nimeanza kukuwa na sauti kubwa na vile ambavyo nimeanza kuwa na sauti kubwa Inaweza kuwa aje. Inaweza kuwa aje. Unamuuliza. Unamuuliza. Unaweza kunisaidia kivipi? Unaweza kunisaidia kivipi? Sio kwenda huku na huku. Sio kwenda huku na huku. Haleluya. 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 Kama uende kwa hawa mama wenye wamekaa huko. Kama uende kwa hawa mama wenye wamekaa hapa. Na utasaidiwa tu. Na utasaidiwa tu. Ama kama umeona mmoja unawapelekea habari tu. Ama kama umeona mmoja unawapelekea habari. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Kutembe katika hofu ya Mungu. Katika hofu ya Yahwe. That is what will help. Hicho ndicho ambacho kitakusaidia. When you walk in the fear of the Lord. Ukitembe katika hofu ya Bwana. You cannot separate from the Lord. Hauwezi kutengwa na Mungu. Haleluya. Joseph said how can I do this great sin? You Yosefu akasema je, naweza fanya dhambi hii namna gani? To sin against God. Kutenda dhambi dhidi ya Mungu. Sio ati kila saa. Mimi asira yangu na kutanga tu imeniangusha chini. Asira asira inakufanya mpaka unaanguka chini asira. 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 Eh? Ati nilipata tu nime, nimepiga bibi. Kuna watu wa kupiga bibi pia. Wanapiga. Bibi amepigwa, amefura, amefura. Eh? Nimekupiga kwa jina la Yesu. Nimekupiga kwa jina la Yesu. Hapana, usifanye hivyo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Eh. Bibi unaongea nayo polepole. Hata Bwana unaongea nayo polepole. Mnaongea kwa sababu nyinyi ni watoto wa Mungu mnataka kuenda pinguni. Mnaongea kwa sababu nyinyi Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sio kwa acha asira asira inafanya tu hivi hivi. Sasa watu wanashangaa. Eh. Hey. Na hii ni wakofu ya aina gani? Na hii ni wakofu ya aina gani? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Now Joseph sasa Yosefu he feared God. Alimhofu Mungu. And you can see Abraham. Na unaweza kuona Abraham. Mungu amemtoa kwa dhambi. Mungu amemtoa kwa dhambi. Mtu mbaya. Mtu mbaya. Mwiti mwenye yako na sanamu. Mwenye yako na sanamu. Ameambiwa awache sanamu. Ameambiwa awache sanamu. He has left it. Ameiacha. He has left his family. Ameacha familia yake. He has left to them. Amewaacha. He is separated. Ametengwa. Ai ai ai. Sasa nimeingia huko aje. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sasa nimejiingiza kwingine tena. Preparation. Hiyo wacha niseme kidogo hata kama sijaendelea na preaching. Hiyo separation, kutengwa, kujitenga. Kuna watu pia hawalewi aelewi separation. Kuna watu pia hawaelewi kutengwa. Hawaelewi. 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 Hawaelewi vile walisikia separation vile ambao walisikia kujitenga sasa hata nyumbani hawaongei na watu hata nyumbani hawaongei na watu sasa unaona hii ni wenye dhambi siwezi ongea na mama yangu siwezi ongea na baba yangu hao ni watu wenye wako kwa dhambi siwezi ongea na wao aa we elewanga vitu vizuri wewe elewa vitu elewange vitu vizuri vizuri bwana yesu asifiwe amen Elewanga vitu vizuri. Elewa vitu vizuri. Wezi kosa kuongea na watu. Wezi kosa kuongea na watu. Na wao pia inatakikana waingie pinguni. Na wao pia inatakikana waingie pinguni. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wao pia What? they should enter. Wao pia wanastahili kuingia. Wengine walisema wakasema hata pesa yangu Wengine waliokula wengine waliapo wakasema hata pesa yangu hamtakula. Nikataa kanisa yetu. Hautakula pesa yangu. Hautakula pesa yangu. Hapana. Hapana. Wacha uchoyo. Wacha uchoyo. Patie watu pesa wakule. Patie watu pesa wakule. Patie hao watu pesa wakule. Patie pesa hao watu wakule. Watu wenu. Watu wenu. Wakule pesa. Wakule pesa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Ni mama yako hawezi pata pesa yako. Hata baba yako. Ndio hata kanisa unasumbuka sana. Hata za zile watu wanatoa. Unasema tu kama mama yangu simpatii, sasa pasta nitampatia aje. 
Hapo ndiyo shida inaanzaka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Eh, itakusumbua. Itakusumbua. It really really disturb you. Itakusumbua kabisa. Come yes, I don't know how I got there. Because in that separation kuna wanawake wako na Bwana yeye anakunywa pombe. Tena anasema sasa huyo ni shetani hawezi kuishi na mtu mwenye anakunywa pombe. Sasa unataka aje? Nani alikupeleka hapo kwenye wanakunywa pombe? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Wewe pia hand like this. Peperusha mkono wako namna hii. Wewe sema ati bibi yangu, unajua bibi yangu bado anashuka nyweli. Sasa hata siwezi kulala na bibi yangu. Hapana. Hapana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mm. Bibi yangu bado hajaingia na mimi ndiyo nimeingia. Sasa unafanya nini? Ati ninanunua kitanda kingine. Hiyo kitanda ubaleka umeweka kwa nyumba hapa na nyingine iko hapa. Sasa sisi Unaona tume separate. Hapana. Eroanga mambo ya Mungu mzuri. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Usianza kuleta confusion. Usianze kuleta kuchanganyikiwa. Sasa ndio kuna mfugano mingi mingi. Hata pesa ya school fees halipi. Hata nini nini umelilia pasta. Umelilia pasta. Na unajua mimi kama pasta, mimi ni pasta wa Hero Main Altar. A hero man, ukisikia a hero man ni kitu kubwa sivyo? Yes. Ama mnafikiri ni kitu kidogo? Kubwa sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bibi bibi anajua atawaeleza akirudi. Nikamwita tena akuje na mama. Haleluya. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. You see this walk of salvation. Unaona mtembeo huu wa wokovu? This is not drama. Sio mchezo tu. This is real life. Haya ni maisha alisia. Ni maisha kihalisia. Usianze kujiuza kufanya fanya drama. Ati unajua mimi sasa ni separate. Mimi sasa ni separate. Ah ah. Sio hivyo. Inatakikana what the Bible says. Inataka kila ambacho Biblia inasema. Behold. Kazama. I send you. Na kutuma wewe. As sheep. Kama kondoo. Among wolves. Miongoni mwa mbweha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I send you na watuma as sheep kama kondoo among wolves miongoni mwa mbweha be wise kuwa ni mwenye busara as a serpent kama nyoka be wise as a what serpent nyoka ndogo ndogo hivi nyoka ndogo ndogo mpaka na kuiua ni ngumu hata kuiona umeshaona nyoka ndogo ni ngumu ni ngumu sana Be wise. Kuwa mwenye hekma. As a serpent. Kama nyoka ndogo ndogo. Be wise. Kuwa mwenye hekima. Be humble. Kuwa mnyenyekevu. As a dove. Kama njiwa. Wewe ni humble. Ni humble but you know you are a man sheep. You are a man wolf. Wewe ni mnyenyekevu lakini unajua uko miongoni mwa mbwa mwitu. Usifikiri don't think we will cut for you your own world where there are holy people living there alone. Usifikiri kwamba takatifu sehemu yangu ya dunia ambapo kuna watu takatifu wanaishi pale peke yao. No. Hapana. You will just live in this very world. Utaishi katika ulimwengu huu huu until the day the Messiah comes to take the church. Hadi siku ambapo Messiah atakuja kulichukua kanisa. Now what you need right now is the wisdom of God. Sasa kile ambacho unahitaji sasa hivi ni hekima ya Mungu. To live among the wicked people of the world. Kuishi miongoni mwa watu wa ovu wa ulimwengu. Be wise. Kwa mwenye hekima. Kama nyoka. Be humble. Kuwa mnyenyekevu. As a dove. Kama njiwa. And then it says. Na sinasema. Beware of men. Makinika kuhusu mwanadamu. Be careful. Makinika. Because they lay a trap before you. Kwa sababu wateka mtego mbele yako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yo, ah. Uh, Uh, I will just be giving you the verse some dear uh, dear atakuwa na nitafutia hapo tu I said you are sheep among wolves sasa you are sheep among wolves hata nyumbani ukienda kwa watu wenu you are sheep among wolves hata nyumbani ukienda kwa watu wenu wewe ni kondoo miongoni mwa mbwa usianze kujifunga kwa nyumba kusema ah mimi nakatu kwa nyumba nje ni kubaya nje ni kubaya watoto msitoke nje You will be having in a cult. 
way that Uta, is not this ministry utakuwa unatendeleza katika kanisa potovu na hiyo sio huduma hii bwana yesu asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe be with people ishi na watu kuwa na watu matungu yako matungu yako enda tu huko enda tu huko wacha wakuone wacha wakuone hallelujah hallelujah eh hey. ndio when i arrive home i arrive home ninaposili nyumbani na wasili nyumbani wanasema ah bishop wakina wasema kuja kuja and i'm the only bishop in my home na mimi ndio askofu pekee katika boma yangu hakuna ya AIC ya roho ya lejo ya nini hakuna huko hakuna AIC ya roho ya lejo hakuna huko thank you very much asante sana ah uh, matthew 10:16 Mathayo mlango wa 10 mstari wa 16 You can read it. Thank you. Just have it and read Matthew 10:16 Mathayo so that you can carry it home. You can carry it home. Mathayo mlango wa 10 mstari wa 16 ilikuwa mwanzo kwenda nao nyumbani. Matthew 10:16 Mathayo mlango wa 10 mstari wa 16 ili ukienda ili ukienda ujue uko na uh, something ili ukienda ujue so that that you are living in the right way ilikuwa mwishi katika jiji sawa chapter 10 mathayo mlango wa 10 mstari wa 16 in verse 16 na mstari wa 16 you can read it bibili inasema tazama behold yes nina watuma kama kondoo katikati ya umba mwitu kwa hiyo muwe werevu kama nyoka na wapole kama huwa hallelujah 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 behold I sent you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be therefore wise as serpents and harmless and doves, uh, as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils and they will scourge you in their synagogues. Tazama nitawatuma kama kondoo katikati ya umba wetu kwa hiyo muwe werevu kama nyoka na wapole kama huwa jihadarini na wanadamu kwa maana watawapeleka katika mabaraza yao na kuwapiga kwenye masinagogi yao because god does not love sin kwa sababu Mungu hapendi dhambi you have to separate yourself from sin lazima ujitenge kutoka kwa dhambi in a way that is outstanding kwa njia ambayo ni ya kipekee let the people know you are born again watu watu ndio kwamba umeokoka one time i was uh, born again wakati mmoja nilipokuwa nimeokoka nilikuwa kitambo kidogo ilikuwa kitambo kidogo and i was going to look for a job na nilikuwa nenda kutafuta kazi and then the pastor had said kisha mchungaji akasema you don't have to pay right for it au tena kulipa hongo kwa ajili yake enda tu ile umeomba sasa enda tu vile tu ambavyo umeomba enda tu nikaenda 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 kwa bank nikaenda kwa benki nikaenda kwa kaunta nikaenda kwa kaunta pale nikaanza kusema can i see the manager nikaanza kusema je naweza kumuona manager Christian, don't you in Christ too? And uh, it's those days when we do not have even clothes. Na ni hizo siku ambazo hata tukua na mavazi. So I say, can I talk to the manager and then they say what do you want to tell the manager now? Nikamwambia, "Je, nizungumza na manager wakasema unataka kwa manager nini sasa?" I want the manager to give me a job. Nataka manager anipe kazi. The one who was at the counter laughed and then she sat down on the other side of the counter. You remember the cook in the counter she was calling people from there <laughs> hey my goodness what have i met here come and see alikuwa anaita watu kule akisema mungu wangu nimekutana nini hapa njoni muone come and see njoni muone in that bank we had the senior deputy had bishop moses angara he was one of the leaders in that bank katika bank hiyo tulikuwa tunasema akasema eh huwa hawauhisi hivyo They told me they don't always ask for a job. Well, they said I don't I didn't know how to ask anything. Nikasema siko na juu hata hivi. Nikasema ipuku ndani waongea na huyo manager kidogo. Wakasema ndio ndani waongea na huyo manager kidogo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. When you are born again, wakati ambapo umeokoka, all you need to do kila mtu anahitaji kufanya is to fear the Lord. Ni kumhofu Mungu. Eventually I got it. Hatimaye nikaipata. I got I got the job. Nikapata kazi. 
Hallelujah. And I worked. And standard chartered. Kwa bank ya standard chartered. And when I was working, working for standard chartered, kwa sababu siku hiyo ni nisema si, si mimi ni meokoka. Hato kati. Mimi ni meokoka, sisi tunaulizanga tu hivyo. Hato kati ya baba nukua nafanya kazi standard chartered, kwa sababu kwa mwakua mwakua, sima si ni meokoka, tunafanya tu hivyo. Sasa, when, when I reported to work, kwa hivyo kati nilipo asini kwa kazi. Kwa hivyo sister, sister, umekuja. Kwa hivyo nisema dada, umekuja. Sasa umekuja. Wana Yesu asifiwe. Wakati ambapo kuna wakovu, do not hide it. Usifite. Bring it out. Ileta nje. Wacha kujihurumia. Wacha kujihurumia. Unajihurumia nini? Unajihurumia nini sasa? Kati watu watasema sisi ndio watu wa magunia. Watasema watu watasema sisi watu wa magunia. Sisi ni watu wa mamarosa. Sisi ni watu wa mamarosa. Wakisema hivyo ni kuna ubaya gani? Wakisema hivyo kuna ubaya gani? Ni ubaya gani hapo? Ubaya gani hapo? wakisema ni mtu wa magunia nikunia ndio upendi ama upendi the fact that mama rosa resurrected ama upendi swala ya kwamba hote kwa mama rosa alifufuka what is it that you don't like about yourself je ni nini upendi kujusu ya mwenyewe hapa come out toka nje let the people know watu watu wajue because they need your help kwa sababu na itaji usaidizi wako wana yesu asifiwe wana yesu asifiwe unajificha jificha na zingine unasema unajua watu wakiona hii koti yangu watajua mimi ni mtu ya toba lazima wajue unajificha jificha watu watajua watu watajua tulazima wajue wanajuanga wanajuanga hapo nashangaa nini ni mbaya na wewe kwa hivyo nashangaa nini mbaya na wewe bwana yesu asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe yuko hapa hapa kwako ndio itakuingiza kwa dhambi pure tu. Iko hapa hapa kwako ndio itakuingiza kwa dhambi pure tu. Mimi nikiingia naingia tu. Mimi nikiingia naingia tu. Na naingia na kofia. Na naingia na kofia. Sasa hiyo natembea na mda hii. Huwezi kujificha. Huwezi kujificha. Hapo kidio wanasema mama Sara. Watu kidio wanasema mama Sara. Askofu. Umekuja. Umekuja. Tumekuona mpaka tumefurahi. Tumekuona mpaka tumefurahi. Watu wa kwetu wakiniona. Watu wa kwetu wakiniona. Kwetu ni AIC. Kwetu ni AIC. Nimepiga kambi hapo. Nimepiga kambi pale. Lakini Mungu wa nabii. Lakini Mungu wa nabii. Jehova. Jehova. Amenimoa hivi. Amenimoa hivi. Nikiingia. Nikiingia. Atapasa. Atapasa. Eishi. Weishi. Nasema hapana. Atasema hapana. Nyaramba. Nyaramba. Umekuja. Umekuja. Bishop. Askofu. Hii service yote. Hii baada yote iko kwa mikono yako. Kwa sababu ni kitu mzuri. Ni kitu yenye kila mtu anahitaji. Ni kitu yenye kila mtu anahitaji. Wanatamani. Wanatamani. Usifikiri wakikuita mtu wa magunia sasa wako na roho mbaya? Usifikiri wakikuita mtu wa magunia kwa wako na roho mbaya? Sasa ni kakikuita mtu ya magunia ndio sasa hiyo unaanza kukoro. Hiyo hiyo kasumba ya kasi, hiyo kasi ndio inakusumbua. Hiyo kasumba ya laana inakusumbua kitu cha magunia. Sasa unaitamani mtu wa magunia? Eh? Wewe una unaniniyo una dharau watu sana. Unajua Mungu anaanza kukupiga hata avunje mkono yako Mungu gani unaongea juu yake. Wacha kufanya hivyo. Wacha kufanya hivyo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. There is the cost of the discipleship of Jesus. Wako katika miongoni mwa ukufunzi wa Yesu. Tembea ukifurahi. Tembea ukifurahi. Usitembee kama kwamba you have been forced to be a christian hata hiyo nguo ulivalishwa na nguvu na watu eh sasa ndio unatembea nayo ukihuzunika haki hii nguo yangu hata wao watu wenye wako na mini sasa ni afadhali najua hii nguo yangu huwa hampendi sana hapana nguo yangu hawapendi kwa sababu gani nguo yangu ni mzuri wanaweza asifiwe eh eh wanaweza asifiwe when you are born again wakati ambapo umeokoka walk in holiness tembea kwa utakatifu because your body is holy kwa sababu mwili wako ni mtakatifu and he wants you to be holy na nataka uwe mtakatifu when you are walking in that holiness tembea katika utakatifu huo he will always abide with you kila wakati atakuwa nawe he will open doors for you atafungua milango kwa ajili yako he will teach you atakufunza he will bring you into the kingdom of god Chapter 12 Lango 12 Na msara wa 
Sunday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, sorry, Sana, Deputy Archbishop. Uh, time is going fast. I have how many minutes? Six. Oh, seven. Lakini sita wa umiza sana. Unajua leo kuna fast. Acha kwa hiyo fast. Bado mungu wada tusaidia. Tamaliza alaka. Alapo tuweze. Sikwe. Wanaeza sikwe. Praise the Lord Jesus. Ata mi ni mefurai kwa sababu. Hakuna ugani inanisumbua kwa tungo. Ugani ikiwa kwa tungo inanisumbua kwa sana. Ha? You can read it. Hebrews chapter 11. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ambao bila kuwa nao hakuna mtu atakaye muona Bwana. Haleluya. Haleluya. Tafuta, tafuta. Tafuteni, tafuteni. Home company, tengeneza kampuni. A group of people, kikundi cha watu. Of looking people looking for peace. Ya watu wakitafuta amani. Amani sio kitu ya kupatikana kila mahali. Amani sio kitu ya kupatikana kila mahali. Ni kitu ya kutafutwa. Ni kitu ya kutafutwa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuna watu wengine wanafikiri akiona mtu fulani yako na amani, sasa anasema, "Eh, hey, mimi kama ningekuwa fulani, hata ningekuwa na amani vile yako na amani." Sio hivyo. Sio hivyo. Huyo mtu anatafuta tu ndio amepata ndio anatulia nayo hapo. Huyo mtu anatafuta tu ndio amepata ndio anayotulia nao hapo. Amani sio rahisi. Amani sio rahisi kutafuta. Ni kutafuta amani. Kutafuta amani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tafuta. Tafuta. Amani. Amani. Eh? Ukitafuta utayapata. Ukitafuta utayapata. Na unajua kitu yenye unatafuta ujui iko hapa. Na unajua kitu ambacho unatafuta ujui iko hapa. Utatafuta tu nyuma ya hizi vitu zote. You do everything. To Uta, find utafanya it. kila kitu kuipata. Look for peace. Tafuta amani. Seek peace. Tafuteni amani. In your pursuit. Katika kutafuta kwenu. At church. Kanisani. At home. Nyumbani. At work. Malipoko pa kazi. On the way. Jiani. In your business. Katika biashara zenu. Look for peace. Tafuta amani. Wasu. Tafuta. Peace. Amani. With all men. Na wanadamu wote. And holy men. Na utakatifu. Without which. Hilo kuwa nao. No one. Hakuna mkio yote. Shall see. At no. Atakai muona pana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Kuna watu wa kutafuta kitu inaitwa fuere. Fuere kelele. Kuna watu wa kutafuta kelele. 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 Ni wa kutafuta kelele. Ni wa kutafuta kelele. Hata watu wamepata Mungu bado unaleta kelele. Hata watu wamepata Mungu bado unaleta kelele. Hata nyumbani ni kelele. Hata nyumbani ni kelele. Hata kazini ni kelele. Hata kazini ni kelele. Hata kwa biashara ni kelele unatafuta. Hata kwa biashara ni kelele unatafuta. Kwa kweli unaitwa mama kelele. Kwa kweli unaitwa mama kelele. Wewe kwenda mbinguni kwa njia hii. Wewe kwenda mbinguni kwa njia hiyo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wewe kwenda. Wewe kwenda. Sababu Mungu Baba. Kwa sababu Mungu Baba is holy. Ni mtakatifu. Sasa I'm not saying sasa sisi mimi I'm not saying that the KDF forces in Somalia should come back home. Ya kwamba sasa wanajeshi walio kule Somalia warudi nyumbani hapana. Eh? I'm not saying. Sisi mimi. Sasa what I'm saying there. Mnaelewa kile ambacho nasema pale? Eh. Amani. Tafuteni amani na kila mtu. Tafuteni amani na kila mtu. And holiness. Na utakatifu. Without which. Ambayo bila ni kuwa nao. No one shall see Hakuna mtu atakayemuona Bwana. The Bible says. Biblia inasema, Come unto me. Njooni kwangu. All you that labor. 
Nyote mnaofanya kazi and I'm heavy laden na una mizigo mizito and I will give you rest na mimi nitawapa mapumziko I will give you peace au nitakupa amani today I want to let you know leo nataka kuwafanya mjue that as a christian ya kwamba kama mkristo for you to walk in holiness kwa kwa wewe kutembea kwa utakatifu and go into the kingdom of god na kwenda katika ufalme wa Mungu you have to seek the way of peace Unahitaji kutafuta njia ya amani. Peace with God. Amani na Mungu. Peace with the people of God. Amani na watu wa Mungu. Peace at home. Amani nyumbani. Peace in your work. Amani kazini. Have peace with yourself. Kuwa na amani na wewe mwenyewe. Kuna wengine hawana hata amani na wao wenyewe. Kuna wengine hawana amani na wao wenyewe. Kichwa inaenda tu ikiruka hivi. Kichwa inaenda ikiruka namna hii. Hapana. Hapana. You need to have Peace. Unahitaji kuwa na amani. Seek that peace. Tafuta amani hiyo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As I am going to finish. Sasa nitaenda kumalizia. Holiness is very key and I read from the book of Genesis. Utakatifu ni nyeti kabisa na nasoma kitab cha mwanzo. I read the book of Genesis chapter number 14. Nasoma kitabu cha mwanzo mlango wa 14. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter number 14. Mlango wa 14 sura ya 14. Ela Genesis chapter number 14. You can read verse 12. We have focused on from verse 8 18. Na nasoma kwanza mlango mstari wa 12 hadi 18. Ah uh, ah uh, Anzia 12 lakini waendelee. Waendelee to the end. Mstari wa 12. Pia walimteka Loti mwana wa ndugu yake Abrahamu pamoja na mali zake kwa kuwa alikuwa akiishi Sodoma. Mtu mmoja aliyekuwa ametoroka akaja kumpa Abrahamu mwebrania taarifa. Wakati huu Abrahamu alikuwa anaishi karibu na na ma, alikuwa anaishi karibu na mialoni ya Mamre Momori aliyekuwa ndugu yake Eshkoli na Aneri ambao wote walikuwa wameungana na Abrahamu Abrahamu alipopata habari kwamba jamaa yake amechukuliwa mateka akawaita watu 318 wa nyumbani mwake waliokuwa wamefuzwa kupigana vita wakiwatafutia hadi ndani Wakati wa usiku Abrahamu aliwagawa watu wake katika vikosi ili awashambulie na akawafuatilia akawafukuza hadi Hoba kaskazini ya Dameski akarudi akarudisha mali zote na kumrudisha Loti jamaa yake na mali zake pamoja na wanawake na watu wengine msara 17 Abrahamu aliporudi baada ya kumshinda mfalme Kedoran Kedorlaoma na wale wafalme waliojiunga naye mfalme wa Sodoma akatoka kwenda kumlaki katika bonde la Shawe yani bonde la mfalme msara wa 18 ndipo Melkizedeki mfalme wa Salemu alipoleta mkate na divai alikuwa kuhani alikuwa kuhani wa Sivali samani Alikuwa kuhani wa Mungu aliye juu sana naye akambariki Abrahamu akisema Abarikiwe Abrahamu na Mungu aliye juu sana muumba wa bingu na nchi msalwa 20 abarikiwe Mungu aliye juu sana ambaye amewaweka adui zako mkononi mwako ndipo Abrahamu akampa Melkizedeki sehemu ya kumi ya kila kitu 21 mfalme wa Sodoma akamwambia Abrahamu nipe hao watu na hizo mali uchukue wewe mwenyewe lakini Abrahamu akamwambia mfalme wa Sodoma nimeinua mkono wangu kwa Bwana Mungu aliye juu sana muumba wa bingu na dunia na nimeapa kwamba sitapokea kitu chochote kilicho chako hata kama ni uzi au kidamu ya kiatu ili kamwe usije ukasema nimemtajirisha nime Abrahamu sitapokea chochote ili kile tu ili, ili kile tu watu wangu walichokula na sehemu ambayo ni fungu la watu waliokwenda pamoja nami ambao ni Aneri, Eshkoli na Mamre wao na wapewe fungu lao 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, we are about to pray. Tuko karibu kuomba. Because we have heard a bit. Kwa sababu tumesikia kidogo. And as I am finishing. Na nikimalizia. You can see the ne, man of God Abraham. Nezaona mtumishi wa Mungu Abraham. Uh, the Lord took him. Bwana alimchukua. He was a rogue person. Alikuwa mtu mbaya. But the Lord made him. Lakini Mungu akamtengeneza. I would want you to begin to assess your progress. Ningetaka uanze kuchunguza kuendelea kwako. Since you were born again. Tangia uzaliwe. How are you? Je, ulikuwa aje? And how are you? Ulikuwa wakati huo na sasa hivi uko aje? And how do you want to be? Na je, unataka kuwa aje? As you're going on, unapoendelea. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. You need to assess. Unahitaji kuchunguza. Abraham has gone through process. Abraham amepitia mchakato. And when he has gone through process, na wakati ambapo amepitia mchakato ule, now he knows to live with people. Sasa ana When he left his home in Ur of the Chaldeans. And then he is living with his uh, brother son Luke. He is going with him. He is separating from the family. Because God has spoken to him. Now he is going with Luke. Anaenda na Loti. On the way. Kwenye barabara. Jiani kuna furugu kuna mafuko. Kuna ugomvi katikati ya wachungaji wao. Shepherds. Wachungaji. Unaona ukiona watu uh, wakubwa wanapigana Ukiona watu wakubwa wanapigana? You always find it's not their war, it's the war of the people. Kila wakati tunapata sio vita yao ni vita ya watu. Like during the time of Saul and David. Kama wakati wa Sauli na Daudi. People were singing and saying, "Oh, David has killed uh, Saul has killed a thousand and David has killed tens of thousands." Sasa hiyo ndio ilileta kiswahili. Walikuwa na hivyo kisema walikuwa na mgombano wakisema Sauli ameua 10000 na David Daudi amekuwa watu zaidi ya 10000 ya maelfu kumi. Sasa hiyo wamama wamefunga leso wanacheza. Oh, Daudi ameua 10000, ameua ameua 10000 na Saulo ameua tu wachache. Sasa hiyo kiswahili inaanza kubru. Sasa hiyo kiswahili inaanza makinika. Haleluya. Haleluya. Hapo ndio kiswahili inaanza. Hapo wengine wanaongea wanaanza kupenda huyu kushinda kupenda huyu sasa hiyo ni nini unafanya wengine wanaanza kupenda huyu kuliko huyu hiyo sio mzuri haleluya 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 hata mimi vile unaniona hata mimi jinsi ambavyo unaniona si mubiri mzuri si mubiri mzuri i'm not the right person si mtu aliye sawa but when you come lakini ukija i have a whole parade of people utanipata ni kuna lahi nalo kwa rinyo nzima la watu kama kanisa lenyu watu ambao wanajiweza ambao wanaweza kumtumikia Mungu kwa nguvu mwingine anasoma mwingine anatangaza mwingine anafanya chochote kile na mwili wa Kristo unajengwa kabisa kwa nguvu kila mtu anayo sehemu kama kuna mahali unajua kufanya unaenda tu hapo kwa DB unasema DB Siku nyingine natamani hata nisome mahali nyingine hapo. Na dia pia kwa madisciple hata kusaidia vizuri. Nasoma tu, nasonga, hata kisa inajengeka. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mimi kongo mimi. I have a charge, I have a ritual. Ninalo kanisa, ninalo eneo. Wakati wa Daudi na Sauli hiyo kisirani ya watu hiyo ya watu oh ameua 1000 only sauli ameua tu watu 1000 pekee lakini daudi ameua 10000 lakini daudi ameua maelfu na maelfu haleluya Abraham, Abraham when he was removed from his home alipoondolewa katika nyumba ya nyumbani kwake he went through process alipitia mchakato the process sio kitu rahisi na mchakato sio kitu rahisi process ni kitu ngumu mchakato ni kitu ngumu saa nyingine unapitia mtihani wakati mwingine unapitia mtihani saa nyingine ni kama 
riadha wakati mwingine ni kama riadha you are running and jumping unakimbia na kuruka vizinzi akafika mahali ingine akafika mahali pengine kisrani imeanza kisrani imeanza katikati ya shepha katikati katikati ya wachungaji shepha ya abraham wachungaji wa abraham and shepherds of lot na wachungaji wa lot because abraham and lot were together like this kwa sababu abraham na lot walikuwa pamoja na mna hii togetherness in service kwa pamoja kwa ipo kwa ibada is very key kwa pamoja kwa huduma ni nyeti sana praise the lord bwana asifiwe like for you kwa nyinyi it's a blessing ni baraka that the lord the kwamba bwana raised for you amoinulia a bishop askofu a deputy archbishop na ibu wa askofu mkuu hata hiyo yake ilishangaza sana hata hiyo yake ilishangaza sana It never to express. It never to express moja kwa moja. Na kuinuliwa na Mungu ba imagine hao manabii ni hao manabii tu wenye wako hapa wewe unawaona world over. Hao manabii ni hao unaona hapa kote kote ulimwenguni. Na ameinua askofu na ameinua askofu na ndio askofu mkuu. Na yuko askofu mkuu. Kwa kanisa yenu. Ako kwa kanisa yenu. Sasa kila mtu anafanya kazi hivi. Sasa kila mtu anafanya kazi hivi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hata vile inaendelea. Hata kisikia vile inaendelea. Manabii wakuu, manabii wakuu. Wakisikia chenye inaendelea. Wakisikia kipa chenye kinaendelea. Drive in. Drive in. Eh. Eh. Hata shtuka na hiyo baraka yenye mtapata mtashangaa. Hata shtuka na ile baraka ambayo mtapata mtashangaa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sasa when you are here. Sasa wakati ambapo mko hapa. You are not in a rehearsal. Hauko katika mazoezi. You are in a process. Uko katika mchakato. You are being processed. Unapenda unatiwa mchakato. Abraham, Abraham and Lot na Lot had gone through process. Walikuwa wamepitia mchakato. But there are people lakini watu wao were still wrangling. Wangalo walikuwa wananumunika. But Abraham lakini Abraham tayari amekutana na Mungu. Tayari amekutana Mungu ni nani? Anajua Mungu ni nani? Na anajua anasema nini? Na anajua anasema nini? Na anajua utakatifu wake. Na anajua utakatifu wake. Sasa zile anaongea na watu. Sasa zile anaongea na watu. Anaongea kitetemeka. Anaongea kitetemeka. Anaambia lutu. Anaambia lutu. Oh lutu. Oh lutu. Jana ya ndugu yangu. Jana ya ndugu yangu. Tusirango. Tusingangane. Tusigombane. Amani. Amani. Lutu amani. Lutu amani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuwe mtu wa kuleta amani. Ukuwe mtu wa kuleta amani. Ukipata kuna kelele unasema tulia tu. Ukipata kuna kelele unasema tulia tu. Itaendelea vizuri. Itaendelea vizuri. Itaisha tu. Itaisha tu. Ninakuombea. Ninakuombea. Kujaribu kurudisha uh, sauti chini. Jaribu kurudisha sauti chini kidogo. Tulia. Tulia. Usilielie sana. Usilielie sana. Sasa kuna kelele kama kuna kelele kwa nyumba. Oi. Mimi sita nyamaza. Mimi sita nyamaza. Mimi nasema tu sinilisikia wewe ni pasta. Hadi wewe ni pasta. Sasa hiyo unaongea na pasta. Pasta na ni bwana ama ni bibi. Na uko nyumbani kule watu wanakuangalia wanazuri. Hadi ukitaka mtu ya kutusi watu ni watu watoba. Enda tu ulete huyo mtu akusaidie kutusi. Sibani hivyo hapana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Abraham, Abraham. He learned a way of peace. Alijifunza njia ya amani. He sought a way of peace. Alitafuta njia ya amani. Until they had peace both of them. Hadi wakao na peace. Abraham has peace and then let me tell you. Lutia na amani Abraham na amani. Sasa wote niwaambie. If you are a holy person. Kama wewe ni mtu mtakatifu. Or if you are pursuing holiness. Au kama unatafuta utakatifu. God always is on your side. Mungu kila wakati yuko upande wako. He will fight for you. Atakupigania. He will come through for you. Atakuja kwa ajili yako. He will be victorious for you. Atakuwa mshindi kwa ajili yako. Every Everybody will see and know that for sure this person. Kila mtu ataona na kujua kwamba kwa hakika mtu huyu has God. Anaye Mungu. Even when Lot was captured, hata wakati Lot alitekwa nyara, 
with Sodom, na Sodoma, with the king of Sodom, na wa Sodoma, with five other nations, na mataifa mengine matano. And the enemy went with them, na dia tenda nao. But Abraham, lakini Abrahamu, the holy man, mtu mtakatifu, guiltless person, ambaye hana hatia, really loves the Lord. Anampenda Bwana sana. Akaona watu wawili wanakuja. Akaona watu wawili wanakuja. Watu wa Kisrani. Watu wa Kisrani. Huwa kuna watu wa Kisrani katikati ya watu. Huwa kuna watu wa Kisrani katikati ya watu wapendwa. Wanakimbia wanakuja mbio. Wanakuja mbio. Abraham, Abraham. Abraham, Abraham. Abraham, Abraham. Abraham, Abraham. Good news, good news. Habari njema. Unajua that is how wanaweza kuja. Unajua hapo hivyo ndivyo wanaweza kuja. Good news, good news Abraham. Abraham, Abraham. Unajua nini? Unajua nini? Huyu adui yako. Huyu adui yako. Abraham Wanaisa sifiwe. Wanaisa sifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Abraham akufurahi. Kuna mwingine anasema, "Si nene kuambia, mtu akicheza na mimi, akaona tu, akakufa, akamgu yake ikakatika." Hapana. Abraham akufanya hivyo. Abraham akufanya hivyo. Alitulia. Alitulia. Alisema, alisema, "Is it true? Che, ni kweli." Is it really true? Je, ni kweli kabisa? Ya kwamba loot. Ya kwamba lootu. Ndio wangu ndugu yangu ndugu jana ya ndugu yangu kijana ndugu yangu na adui hebu enda ita wafanyikazi wangu hebu enda uite wafanyikazi wangu abraham abraham alikuwa mtu tajiri alikuwa mtu tajiri sijaona mtu tajiri hata mimi si tajiri hata mimi si tajiri mimi ni tajiri mimi ni tajiri lakini sijafika kwa abraham mimi ni tajiri lakini sijafika kwa abraham haleluya haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe tajiri Tajiri. Mimi ni tajiri hata wewe ni tajiri. Mimi ni tajiri hata wewe ni tajiri. Hiyo tajiri inasumbuanga kidogo acha niguze hapo. Hiyo tajiri inasumbuanga kidogo acha niguze hapo. Tajiri. Tajiri inasumbuanga kidogo. Inasumbuanga kidogo. Inasumbua hata nyumbani. Inasumbua hata nyumbani. Ukiwa na maid, ukiwa na wafanyikazi wa nyumba. Umefanya umepata maid moja. Umepata wafanyikazi mmoja. Eh. Hey. Vile unasomea maid peke yake. Vile unasomea mfanyikazi peke yake. Unaharibu mali yako. Unaharibu mali yangu. Chakula yangu inaenda bure. Chakula yangu inaenda bure. Hata sabuni unaoga nayo bila kulipa. Hata sabuni unaoga nayo bila kulipa. Hata kwa mshahara. Hata kata kwa mshahara. Unajua hapa ni Nairobi sio kama Kisumu lakini wapendwa. Unajua hapa Nairobi sio kama Kisumu lakini wapendwa. Ni wakoke ama? Tuokoke. Unaona tuokoke ama tusiokoke? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Abraham. Abraham had more than 318 workers. Alikuwa na zaidi ya wafanyikazi 318. 300. 318. Na wewe hata ukiwa na maid moja utaingia kwa mbili. Na wewe hata ukiwa na wafanyikazi mmoja tu wa nyumba na sio hata wawili. Eh? Eh? Unafanya vibaya mpendwa. Unafanya vibaya mpendwa. Kwa mama mnafanya vibaya. Kwa mama mnafanya. Ya tena wamama ndio wana lead sana. Tena wamama ndio wanaongoza. Kwa mama anajua mtu anapenda nirudi lakini nitarudi tu nganisamea ama ana msikoni saiti samea. Bado nita tutakutana tu menengai 6. Tutakutana menengai 6. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Abraham Abraham had over 300 alikuwa na zaidi ya 300 workers wafanyikazi somebody who fears the lord mtu ambaye anamhofu Mungu holy person mtu mtakatifu seeking peace asitafuta amani but when he is so bored coming lakini alipoona Mungu akija akamwambia asema eh akaanza kusema eh when you read genesis 18 ukisoma mwanzo 18 akasema eh akasema eh ni nani huyo ni nani huyo ni Mungu ni Mungu akapiga steps zingine hapo akapiga tu zingine pale kuhakikisha ni ni Mungu kuhakikisha ni Mungu ni mbio ni mbio haleluya haleluya even when you are a rich person hata wakati ambapo wewe ni mtu tajiri and rich does not mean you have a million or no. million na utajiri ya imani haimaanishi kwamba una milioni au mamilioni hiyo pesa yako ndiyo riches yako hiyo pesa yako ndiyo utajiri wako haleluya haleluya aliona Mungu akitembelea akiona Mungu akitembelea alikimbia 
alikimbia Hallelujah Hallelujah Holiness utakatifu teaches you inakufunza what is against your culture kile ambacho kiko kinyume na tamaduni yako in the usual culture kitamaduni ya kawaida mgeni akikuja mgeni akikuja ni mama anashughulika ni mama anashughulika lakini kwa Abraham lakini kwa Abraham ile Mungu alitembelea Mungu alitembelea Abraham alichukua lead Abraham alichukua Msali amele. Mungu anaangalia tu pole pole. Anasema huyu mtu ni mtu mzuri aje. Mungu angalia pole anaangalia pole pole anasema huyu mtu ni mtu mzuri aje. Akachukua watu 300. Akachukua watu 300. Akaenda wakafight. Akaenda wakapigana vita. They are fighting five kingdoms like Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi. He and his 300 men are fighting more than five kingdoms and he overcame them. Oh. Yeye na wafanyikazi wake 300 wanapigana vita viti ya ufalme tano na akawashinda wote. And then na kisha they were fighting on the mountain. Walikuwa wanapigana vita milimani. And he made sure he took Lot. Na akahakikisha kwamba amechukua Lot. The wife of Lot. Mke wa Lot. The daughters of Lot. Binti wa Lot. The servants of Lot. Watumishi wa Lot. The animals. Wanyama. The king of Sodom. Falme wa Sodoma. And the other kings. Na mawafalme wengine. Na alikuwa narudi nao. You know you are in a war. Unatoka katika hali ya vita. Uh, the deputy archbishop can tell you war is not easy. Na hivyo sikofu mko anaweza kuambia kwamba vita si rahisi. Wao wameona bunduki yenyewe mimi sijaona sana. Wao wameona bunduki yenyewe mimi sijaona sana. Haleluya. Akatoka na wao. Akatoka na wao. He's coming back with them. Anakuja nao. He's coming back with them. Anarudi nao. Na Mungu anaangalia. Na Mungu anaangalia. Anasema eh. Hey. Anasema eh. Hey. Abraham. Abraham. He did you did it. Hakika ulitenda. Ujali. Ukujali. Ya kwamba. Ya kwamba. Ulikuwa na vita na Lutu. Ulikuwa na vita na Lutu. Oh. oh. He's coming back. Anarudi. Akifika hivi. Akifika hivi. Akasema. Akasema. Ah. Ah. Sasa tumefika. Sasa tumefika. Kufika uh, sasa anataka go step hivi. Kufika sasa anataka kanyaga chini hivi. Akakutana na Mungu Baba. Akakutana na Mungu Baba. Haleluya. Melkizedek. Melkizedek. The high priest. Kuhani mkuu. Alimkutanisha. He met Abraham. Akakutana na Abraham. And with why? Akakutana Abraham na mkate na divai. Haleluya. Haleluya. That is all that Abraham needed. Hiyo ndio pekee ambayo Abraham alihitaji. He needed just water. Alihitaji Akatoa kuhitaji gari unga. No, he needed wine and bread. Alihitaji tu something to retain his strength. Alihitaji tu divine na mkate. Alihitaji kitu cha kunisha nguvu yake. He needed something to refresh himself. Alihitaji kitu cha kunisha. He just needed God himself. Alihitaji Mungu mwenyewe pekee katika chemba. Who meet God? Watu wanaokutana na Mungu. Who with clean heart? Ni watu walio na moyo safi. Unasikia watu umeshikia hata watu wenye wako wapatia ugani vile ulikuwa msana mdogo au baba mdogo umeshikia watu ambao kupe ugani wakati ulikuwa mdogo unasema eh hiyo watu walikuwa na vitu vitu vingi unasema sisi hatukuwa nayo hao watu walikuwa na vitu vingi sasa siwezi kumwachia huyu siwezi kumwachia umeshikia bwana yako umeshikia bwana yako sababu ulipata kama ako na rafa ingine kidogo hapo mtu alimsalamia no na watu wenye wako na shetani wanajua kurusha text Yes, hello baby unakuta kwa simu ya bwana yako imeandikwa hello baby hiyo ulishika ulikataa ulikataa ukusamehe na inaharibu kila kitu ukiona ina kila kitu ukiona ukusamehe yako pia hivyo 
uliona kitu na umeshika kama kitu umeshika if you hold it like that ukishikilia ndo hivi utaenda mbinguni you cannot meet god when you come to the mercy of god inakuwa gumu kabisa nataka kuambia wapendo how to begin to forgive yakomo mnasema kwanza kusamehe to forgive na sasa kwanza kusamehe this moment i want to ask everybody to stand up wakati unataka kwamba kila mtu simame going to go before the lord tunaenda mbele za bwana you here today ukamo kwa hapa leo this message umesikia ujumbe huu in your heart you say really na kwa moyo wako unasema kwa hakika the help of god na itatu saidia kwa mungu na itatu saidia kiwango kingine of this spiritual work ya kama huo kiro katika maisha yako begin to advance towards the altar unaanza kuja kwenye madhabahu ya bwana even for those who are not born again hata kwa wale ambao hawajaokoka they can be your day no ni sawa again no ni sawa siku yako ya kuja you can receive the lord leo unaanza kutoka bwana yesu
He has written those words down. Ameandika maneno hayo chini. So what does he say? Kwa hivyo yeye anasema nini? About the words you have spoken. Kuhusu maneno ambayo umenena. And the words you've been speaking after you have read this verse. Na maneno ambayo utakuwa ukinena baada ya kusoma maneno haya. Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 12. Mathayo mlango wa 12 verse 36. Mstari wa 36 and 37 na 37 We have read these verses again and again. Tumesoma maandiko hayo mara kwa mara in this place. Mahali hapa. And this was have been read to me again and again. Na maneno haya yamesomwa kwangu tena na tena. Precious people. Watu thamani. Listen to this word. Sikiza maneno haya. Verse 36. Mstari wa 36. But I tell you that everyone will have to give account on the day of judgment for every empty word they have spoken. Lakini nawaambia katika siku ya hukumu watu watatoa hesabu kuhusu kila neno lisilo la maana walilonena. For by your words you will be acquitted and by your words you will be condemned. Kwa maana kwa maneno yako utahesabiwa haki na kwa maneno yako utahukumiwa. Jesus is coming. Yesu anakuja. He is coming for all people. Analijia watu takatifu. He is coming for a righteous person. Anamkujia mtu mwenye haki. Whom is going to rapture? Ambaye atamnyakua. Ambaye atamnyakua. But also, lakini pia there is a judgment of the Lord. Kuna hukumu ya Bwana. That is coming. Ambayo inakuja. There are some of us kuna baadhi yetu who are going to stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Ambao tena kuzimama mbele cha kiti cha hukumu cha Kristo. Ole wako. Ole wako. Choose rapture. Chagua nyakuzi. Choose rapture. Chagua unyakuzi. Let us be taken through rapture. Wacha tuchukuliwe kupitia unyakuzi. Standing before the judgment seat of the lord kusimama mbele ya kiti cha hukumu cha bwana when you stand before that judgment seat ukisimama mbele ya kiti hicho cha hukumu itakuwa mbaya now let us speak this word sasa wacha tunene maneno haya mighty lord jesus mighty lord jesus bwana yesu mkuu bwana yesu mkuu lord Bona! Bona! No! No! Bona! Bona! No! No! Bona! Bona! Lord, I've called you more than three times. Lord, I've called you more than three times. Bona, nimekuita zaidi ya mara tatu. Bona, nimekuita zaidi ya mara ya tatu. Bona! Bona! I want to thank you, my father. Nataka kukushukuru baba yangu. For giving me eyes to see. Kwa kunipa macho ya kuona. For giving me ears to hear. Kwa kunipa masikio ya kusikia. And for giving me a heart to understand. Na kwa kunipa moyo wa kuelewa. Lord, Bwana, thank you for your message. Asante kwa ujumbe wako. But Lord, lakini Bwana, I am a sinner. Mimi ni mtenda dhambi. I am the worst of all. Mimi ni mbaya kuliko wote. Lord, Bwana, give me this opportunity. Nipe fursa hii. To acknowledge my sins. Kutambua dhambi zangu. To confess my sins. Kuungama dhambi zangu. Before all these people. Mbele ya tu hawa wote. I have murdered. I am murdered. Lord, Lord, Bwana. I have been promised. I have been promised. Nimekuwa mtanja. 
Lord, Wana, I have been a witchcraft. I have been an idol worshiper. I have blasted at men. I have blasted at women. I have blasted at women. Lord, I have lived in the generation of curses. I have lived in the generation of curses. Lord, all these sins, all these sins, and the many other sins I have not confessed before you. Lord, Bona, I have committed them. I have committed them. Ni make a I have committed all these sins. Ni metenda than be his zote. Yet you have suffered on the cross. Yet you have suffered on the cross. Ili hali umeteseka msalabani. Because of these same sins. Kwa sababu ya dhambi hizi hizi. Lord tonight, Lord tonight. Leo, I repent. 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 Lord, Wana, I believe. I believe. Ni You are me. Umenisikia. And you have forgiven me. Na umenisamehe. Thank you, my Lord. Asante mwana wangu. Thank you, my Father. Asante baba yangu. Thank you for the blood. Asante kwa damu. Now Lord, now, Lord. Sasa Bwana, help me make this announcement. Nisaidie nifanye tangazo hili. Before all these people. Mbele ya watu hawa wote. Before this multitude. Mbele ya umati huu. That today. Ya kwamba leo. That this hour. Ya kwamba saa hii. That now. That now. Ya kwamba sasa. I am born again.